Assalamu alaikum, my dear viewers, friends, family, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, and strangers. Welcome to your favorite show and my favorite show, hashtag LNT. As you can read behind me, Ramadan. Ramadan is here. So tomorrow we're fasting. So tomorrow we can eat and drink during the day. We can only drink water within these two hours that we have and then go back to fasting. So Ramadan Mubarak to everyone watching us tonight. Uh, and uh, I would like to say that, uh, you know, I care a lot about you guys. I love you guys. I love the show as well. That's why uh, we're in episode 31. But for tonight, Ramadan, first night, inshallah, we're going live from the holy city of Karbala. Uh, every night, just to throw that out, every night in Ramadan, we're live. So starting by tonight, inshallah, every night we're going live. So be prepared for 30 nights of some amazing topics handpicked um, by the co-producer, by the think tank of hashtag LNT. And of course, I have to put my own input in that. So you have to guys, you guys have to wait and see what the topics are. But until then, let's go jump in uh, and let the guys in the control room take us to what's trending in just a few seconds. Welcome back, dear viewers. Once again, Eid, Eid Mubarak. Wow, we're already in Eid. No, no, no. Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, thanks to whoever did that right there behind me. Um, and the crescent, if you guys didn't know what this is, uh, it's a crescent. Uh, and that's an R-A-M-A-D-A-N. -R -A -A the last letter is N, by the way. Um, it's, it's, it's not like an upside down V. Uh, but anyways, uh, so Ramadan Azim. Okay. All right, so from now on, they're telling me that it's, uh, from now on, they're telling me it's Ramadan Azim. Um, this one or this one? That one? All right. Now, we're kicking it off with what's trending. Now, um, if you guys didn't know, uh, the London skyline is becoming the subject of the world's first gigapixel picture. Gigapixel, not megapixel. That's history now. So when you take out your iPhone 10s, your Xs, your, uh, your S9s, Galaxy S9s, and your whatevers, and you try to take a picture in megapixels, that's old, that's history. They're taking a gigapixel picture, which made history. So this was a, a, a cooperation with, with a few companies, uh, Visualize, London-based VR, N360 company, um, Lenstore, the contact um, lens company as well. Now this is crazy. They had to get the new motion technology um, to maneuver the, their Nikon uh, D850 um, to get that picture. So it's uh, two cameramen, that's all it took, two cameramen taking 260 pictures per hour for 24 hours. So quick maths, 260 times 24. So in one day, in 24 hours, they took 6,240 pictures. Imagine that. Now that was for the first thing that was what's trending. Now we have another, um, another uh, quick thing for you guys with what's trending since we're kicking off Ramadan. We got to kick it off, right? No? So let's go and check out with what's trending. This hit the world. Like it's, it's crazy. It's trending so hard right now. You guys don't imagine. Let's go and watch it. guys read right a huge announcement alert your favorite show is only getting better and better this ramadan enjoy new trending topics of hashtag lnt daily of course with the one and only that means 30 nights of live shows at 2 a.m karbala time so do stay tuned for new segments of fun and excitement and we're not stopping there no 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 If you like a free trip to Karbala and this airplane right here, all you have to do is join us into the show and you'll name the place in a draw. All the participants will participate by calling, texting, Instagram, Facebook. All of you guys will be placed in a draw and from that draw, a person will win a free trip on this plane to come to Karbala free of charge on our house. So join the family of hashtag LNT and celebrate Ramadan with us. And who doesn't want to? It's filled with fun. You 
guys heard that right. Free trip to Karbala. Who doesn't want a free trip, a free vacation to Karbala? All you guys have to do is tune into the show and participate. How you can participate, I will mention in a few minutes how you guys can earn and get a halal trip to Karbala. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, rob a bank or nothing. You just have to, you know, watch LNT uh, and join us all uh, 39th of uh, Ramadan. Uh, now, uh, we're trying to kick it off tonight. And uh, first, we did wish everyone a Ramadan, Azim Ramadan, uh, Mubarak for everyone. Uh, Insha'Allah, it's a month of mercy and blessings uh, to all you guys so we can, you know, increase them hasanats uh, and uh, remove and clear them sayyats, uh, the sins and, you know, increase the deeds. Uh, and Insha'Allah, learn to become better human beings. But to all those who don't know what Ramadan is, now Ramadan, to go back to the simple history, uh, back to basics as Sheikh Yahya has, um, now Ramadan, if we're going back to simple basics, Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Uh, and basically, uh, it's, it's, it's a month where Muslims globally known and are globally observed by Muslims to fast and commemorate uh, the first days which the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad according to Islamic beliefs. Now, this annual observance is regarded as one of the ten branches of Islam. So meaning that the this month, aka Ramadan, lasts for 29 or 30 days. How can you dictate when it's 29 and when it's 30? All you have to do is stand on your balcony, go like this, like someone does, and watch if the crescent appears, which the crescent appeared right here. That's it, right there. So we announce that Ramadan is tomorrow. But uh, you don't have to do that. You know, the scholars have, uh, depending on who you follow, you go back to your scholar and they tell you um, how you guys, uh, or when or how long should you guys fast for. Now fasting is something that catches the attention of, of, of many, especially in the West. I mean, I remember when, when I was going to school, um, and when it was lunchtime, I would just sit there with no food in front of me. And that's surprising because I love eating. Uh, but, you know, th th there was no food in front of me. So my friends, they would ask me, aren't you hungry? Aren't you thirsty? Why isn't there any food in front of you? Um, so I would just sit there like a really innocent child, like a little angel. And I would say, you know what? Um, God has prescribed this um, uh, to be a very holy month where we have to fast. Uh, and also get the benefits uh, mentally and physically as well. So I, I just had to sit there like a little angel and explain this to them. Uh, and, and we'll try to explain more, inshallah, on what are the benefits of Ramadan later on in the show. Now that being said, you know, we thought of kicking off Ramadan, the first episode uh, of Ramadan, we, we thought to kick it off with a very simple and nice question for you guys to answer. And don't forget the same thing I said in the promo. Whoever calls, texts, sends a video, a, 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 a message, a comment on Facebook, their name will be placed on the draw. But let's see the question first so you can participate. Why do you fast? Why do you fast? Let me know and let the entire world know why you guys fast. Now, how you can do that is basically dialing the number is plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six and letting the entire world know why you should fast and uh, your participation will get you a free trip to Karbala or I Ahmed Ali the one and only will tomorrow inshallah we'll have a uh, a, a, a raffle box right here where we can pick out the names or write the names and drop them in there. Um, we, I will personally write the participant's name, everyone that participates. I'll write their name and drop it in that box. And then at the end of Ramadan, inshallah, we will choose a name to, uh, to come to Karbala free on our house. And then other giveaways as well. So don't be scared if you don't know. You will win. There's a lot of prizes coming in Ramadan. Uh, so you guys have to tune in and watch. Uh, but um, you can also join us live on Facebook. And if you comment there, your name, your name will, will also be dropped in that raffle box as well. Now, let's take a very short break because I talked a lot. And uh, in a few hours, I have to 
um, fast and uh, if I talk a lot you get thirsty so I don't want to talk a lot let's go to a very short break go back very short so let's do that Welcome back dear viewers, I hope you inshallah uh, are having a great night. Tomorrow is Ramadan, so tomorrow you're going to have to fast. I feel bad for the guys living in London and the UK. They have to fast for a long time and I know it's, it's hot over there. It's like Iraq heat right now. You know, it's, it's, it's 35 degrees, 32, 33 degrees in, in, in the UK. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy hot. Uh, but, you know, hopefully they can, uh, you know, we can, we can you know, uh, be in solidarity and, and, and fast as well here. Over here, uh, we, we fast usually from 3.30 until 7 p.m. 3.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, so that's, that's pretty long as well. Um, but Ramadan is undoubtedly one of the most profound global spiritual experiences in the world. You won't find um, a more profound um, spiritual experience than Ramadan. Why? Because there are many benefits to it. And only God knows all the benefits to this month. Now, the following, I will mention uh, a few points, a few reasons why Ramadan can be so beneficial to you. And this, you, you can actually relate it to yourself and, and you can call in uh, to the show and let us know. We are getting a few, uh, uh, a few Facebook comments which will pop up, inshallah, very soon. Uh, but why is Ramadan, or what are the reasons that, that Ramadan has so many uh, benefits to it, so many blessings and so many um, mercies to it? We'll get to mention a few later on. Now, uh, actually just right now we'll mention some. Number one is the spiritual purification. Now, one of the primary benefits of fasting, in Ramadan especially, you know, you, you, you might fast in other days, like blessed days, like, uh, the Layal al Bil uh, or the, the, the days of, of whiteness, or I don't know how you translate that, but um, fasting in Ramadan is very beneficial because it purifies the mind, the body, and the spirit at the same time, leading to greater clarity, sensitivity, and health, aka baptism. So you're basically baptizing yourself with actually not soaking yourself in water, but you're still baptizing your. your, your, your mind, your body, and everything um, to get ready for that spiritual journey that you take uh, through Ramadan. Reason number two why Ramadan is so beneficial is health. And you know when I talk about health, you know, which I'm work out, no, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, in, in Ramadan, uh, when, when, when you're trying to uh, be healthy, um, check this out. Close down, it slows down the engine process uh, and, and so on and so forth. Now, scientifically speaking, science has documented and demonstrated that one of the most effective fast, that one of the most effective factors in improving human health is the reduction of intake and consumption. So, what's, what this basically means is that during Ramadan, your digestive system, the engine of the body, so to speak, is it's it's taking a rest from the usual consumption, and 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 the intake that that, that is taking in, um, and it's allowing it to normally process the foods, get rid of get rid of the toxins in your body, the the extra waste in your body, very slowly, so th th there's nothing pushing down on the stomach and pushing down on the digestive system. That's why after, uh, subhanAllah, that's why as soon as you break your fast, you eat something very simple and right away you feel full because your, di your digestive system is working uh, properly. Uh, and, and also it's, it's, it's a way of uh, healing the tissues and letting them repair as well. Now reason number three um, is family and community. Now family and community, um, as, as you can see that family right there, um, the, the, they're all sitting together and, you know, to, to break the fast uh, and they, they look happy. Ramadan brings everyone together. If you're from the Middle East or basically if you're Muslim during Ramadan, um, you're going to see families coming or inviting you. You're inviting, you're inviting your family, your friends, 
uh, and the community, everyone just comes together uh, un under Ramadan and, and checking out each other's um, you know, uh, life, uh, seeing what's good in their life, what happened. Oh, you got a new, new a newborn. Oh, you got this car, you got this house. So you kind of show off as well when you uh, put out the fancy food as well. Uh, now, that's very important as well because you get to bring everyone together in your house. So it just breaks that boundary that people have, um, brings friends together, brings family, of course, and it brings them community together. Because, you know, when, it, when I was in Canada, um, we, we had the Islamic Center where every Saturday, every Friday and Saturday, they had a meal, uh, everyone gathered at the Islamic Center, and there was an iftar uh, for everyone uh, that came to the mosque. Anyways, we'll go to uh, ask the public, and also, if you do send us your video of your opinion on the topic as well, um, it will be added to the public opinion, and also, your name will be jotted down, placed in that imaginary box right now tomorrow we're actually gonna have physically but tonight it's 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 uh it's, it's imaginary right now so I'm, I'm gonna write down the names and drop them in there so let's go to ask the public and come back very short Wa alaikum. Um, so you asked me why do we fast on Ramadan uh, for me obviously one God says you have to um, but secondly, for me, like personally, it really brings light to how some people suffer in the world. It makes you realize how much you eat excessively, that you don't actually need to eat. Like a lot of us, we, you know, don't look forward to Ramadan because you're like, oh my God, how am I not going to eat all day? How do I do it every year? It, but in reality, when it comes around to it, you know, you, we do all right. And it really makes us realize how much we waste and all of this kind of stuff. So for me... That's one of the reasons why I, you know, kind of enjoy actually fasting during the month of Ramadan. Uh, thank you very much. Now, Shahbaz's name is, uh, is, is going, I'm, I'm going to write that down right now with my imaginary pen and imaginary paper right now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, all the names will be placed uh, in this box uh, that will be here tomorrow inshallah and Facebook comments as well we are getting a few Facebook comments um, now um, Shabnam uh, Mawani Fazal uh, he says uh, Salam Zalam Allah Mubarak to all of you guys Ramadan Mubarak to all uh, to everyone watching us as well and to you as well of course now uh, Saqib Ali he says um, he says we do fast to refrain from sin to worship Allah in the best way Fast, fasting forces us to think about the needy and the poor people around the world and provide us the opportunity to help them. Thank you very much, uh, Saqib Ali, uh, for telling us why should you fast. And this is, this is a very uh, valid reason as well why you should fast because you think of the needy people as we get to talk about later on as well. Um, now, uh, Mumina Ali, she also says, Salam. I fast to cleanse my soul and ask for forgiveness. I fast for the sake of Allah. It reminds us of those who struggle every day to find food and water. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mumina Ali, for, for letting us know uh, as well. Now, Musa Ali al Karbala, he says, uh, We do the fast uh, to just feel uh, the poor, but to get rid of our sins and to purify our spirit. And fasting doesn't only stop for, it doesn't only stop you from eating or drinking, but also our eyes and ears and minds also have to fast from the sins, and it's very very healthy. Thank you very much, uh, Musa Ali, and all of their names will be placed in the draw. Now, one thing to point out: uh, the, the the names in the Facebook are only the ones who will be written down. Um, so, if you want your exact name. Um, so, and also during the live show as well, not after the show, you can go and comment. During the live show, if you give the, the, the names of, of the accounts, they will be added to the draw. If that name right there isn't your exact name, do message us um, or we'll message you to get your uh, full name so we can put it in the draw as well. Now, uh, before the Facebook comments, we are getting a few more. Uh, we'll get to uh, read them out later on as well. Uh, but. Um, I don't know why you guys aren't calling. Uh, maybe you guys are hesitant, uh, thinking that we actually won't come through on, on the deal. No, no, no. We'll come 
through, and when I say will come through, Ahmed Ali is saying will come through. So you guys, all you got to do, pick up the phone and dial the number shown right there at the bottom and give us a call and tell us why do you fast? Now before the break we were talking about a few reasons uh, why Ramadan is so beneficial. We got to uh, reason number four. Before that we were talking about family and community. Number four is empathy and compassion. A lot of the people that commented uh, and Shahbaz as well, they told us um, that one of the reasons why um, Ramadan is so important is that um, there's empathy and compassion involved with it. You think of the people around you um, that really don't have that much to eat, um, that uh, it's, it's not everyone has the same opportunity uh, as we do. We're so spoiled in this world um, that whatever we want, we get. Um, if, if, if we think uh, that uh, <laughs> that our um, that our phone is is is, work, is working okay, uh, but if it's if it's bad or if it has like a small scratch on it, we go and change it. Not thinking of those, uh, or if we overeat excessively. Not thinking of those who um, don't have food, who don't have shelter. Um, yet we're so fortunate and spoiled. So it just gives us a, a time to be uh, compassionate towards those who don't have. Now, reason number five as why we should fast or what's the benefits of Ramadan um, is restraint and self-discipline. And this is very true as well because if during the month of Ramadan, um, I actually heard this from a lot of friends and I, I sometimes I feel this as well. In Ramadan, um, you get to be a little bit ill-tempered um, you get mad very easily because you're not having any water, you're not having any food, um, you're, you're, you're angry, you're pissed off because you don't have anything to eat. Um, or, or you know, if, if you're addicted to cigarettes or if you're addicted to anything, you can't have that during Ramadan. So there's a bit of anger, of anguish just to go and do that thing. Um, so uh, that discipline really teaches you and it, it, psychologically speaking, it grows your personality because you're able uh, you're more able or more capable of handling um, your inner self. You're disciplining your physical, your mental, and your inner self as well, your spiritual side uh, as well. And that's number five. Number six um, is focus. Now, honestly, this can also be a psychological perspective as well. As we'll later on, we'll get to ask the expert. We don't want to spoil anything, but... Um, Later on after these, uh, after this one, uh, we'll get to uh, ask the expert of uh, what they think. Now, focus. Now, in this world, and with the common demand uh, of modern life, uh, it's too easy to become lost um, and forget who we are, to unconsciously forget our divine purpose and destiny in this life. Uh, because we were put on this planet for a reason, whether you believe in God or you don't. One of the main reasons, and even if you don't believe in a God, the main reason is to look at the near future. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do? Give back to the community. That's your purpose. Your goal is your purpose. So that's one of the main reasons. We should be focused in Ramadan. Focused, as you know, every year that there's a New Year resolution. Um, your New Year resolution should be in Ramadan where, you know what, after Eid or this day, the first day of Ramadan, I won't do the things that I did before. A checklist. Start checking off the things that, the negative things about you. Start checking them off and saying that, you know what, from this day on, these won't happen again. Inshallah, I should start for myself. I actually have to get a checklist. Uh, but now, Let's ask the expert tonight. We have a very special uh, expert joining us tonight, Sister Barak Hussain, um, a psychotherapist uh, from Ottawa, Canada, telling us the psychological aspect behind why do we fast. To that. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, this is Sister Barak Hussein, registered psychotherapist, also known as the Muslim counselor. I'd like to wish you and your families a beautiful holy month coming up during the blessed month of Ramadan. And we all know the benefits of fasting, whether it's uh, 
personal connection to God, strengthening our spirituality, helping those that are in need, connecting with our families, with our communities. MashaAllah, there's so many amazing benefits for this holy month. And an interesting one is, of course, the psychological benefits of fasting. And this is something that we have seen in recent research where they look at you know, self-restraint, self-discipline, and these are things that we know during the month of fasting. That, For example, we try to abstain from food, from water, and other everyday pleasures because this is what is prescribed to us in the Holy Quran. The benefits behind that psychologically are incredible. So for example, for those of us who are trying to get rid of a bad habit, such as smoking, this is a perfect opportunity to actually work on that. Research has shown that it takes around two to three weeks, around 21 days to develop a good or bad habit. So during this month, you can work on something that you want to get rid of. So daily you can work on it. So smoking, for example, you have to abstain from smoking during your fasting time. Although I see a lot of people right at the end of their fast, they break their fast with a cigarette. Uh, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of it. However, if you put your mind to it and this is a habit that you'd like to break, this is an incredible opportunity for you to work on that. There could be also other things as well. For example, cleaning up your diet, purifying toxins, getting rid of toxins within your body. So a lot of people tend to get rid of good habits also during Ramadan. For example, going to the gym or working out. And I encourage people, no, you can still do that. Don't stop working out just because you're abstaining from eating and drinking water throughout the day. In fact, it's a wonderful opportunity to, again, develop restraint and routine and toning up yourself, really. And people think, oh, I'm going to lose weight. Some people say, oh, I gain weight during Ramadan. Psychologically, though, if you put it in your mind, you know, I'm going to create this part of my daily routine. I'm going to go to the gym, let's say, before iftar time, after preparing everything. Um, or going, let's say, a little bit after of thought. It's also, what kind of foods are you gonna be putting into your body during this month that could also help with your consciousness, your awareness? Uh, you know, research has shown that a lot of people tend to be more focused during their fasting time, which is great. I find I tend to be more focused as well. I'm not distracted by, oh, I'm hungry, or I need to go to the washroom. So it gives it a good opportunity to develop that routine of self-discipline and restraint, right? And self-control, again, we talked about empathizing with the poor and the hungry. And it gives you the opportunity to really reflect as well and be grateful, being mindful, being mindful and aware of the goodness that we have in our lives and being mindful of aware of the things that other people don't have, an opportunity for us to give from ourselves and help. And this is what, it, what it's all about in terms of that sense of community and giving back. And there's so many groups out there, people who work together to help other communities, but also communities of different faiths as well to show how Muslims can work together. So psychologically, this has a huge impact on the individual as well as families when they, you know, prepare the fast or rather breaking the fast together, preparing the meals together, working together, there's a sense of community and love in that dynamic. And also when we attend the masjid or the Husseiniyads or the centers and have community iftars and have du'as together, there is that sense of building of community and that we want to carry over for the rest of the year. So during this blessed month, yes, we know what the Quran has taught us. We know what the hadith have taught us. You know, encourage you to look at it from a, another perspective, add it on to that, you know, whether it's changing your diet or, you know, developing closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or developing that spirituality, that connectedness within the community, being mindful and grateful, creating good habits, getting rid of bad habits, finding that inner peace and tra tranquility, and also working on that self, the nafs, because it's during this month that we really have to struggle with that nafs, where you're fighting your urges, you're fighting, you're fighting um, the nafs al-ammara, that lower demanding part of yourself that is constantly telling you, do this, do that. So this is an opportunity for you to work with that part of yourself, with the self-discipline, self-preservation, and again, not forgetting your friends and family and community. I pray that you have a wonderful month, and I hope these little tidbits uh, are helpful for you. Take care, and God bless, and please remember us in your du'as on these nights, and especially the holy nights of Layali al-Qadr. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, dear viewers. Um, uh, welcome back. Uh, we do thank 
uh, Sister Burak Hussain, a, a psychotherapist, registered psychotherapist uh, from Ottawa, Canada. Uh, and I don't know, does, does Burak Hussain want her name also in the draw? Uh, I don't know. Send us a message and, and we'll put your name. Actually, no, I'm kidding. Everyone that participates, even the experts, uh, unless, you know, the Grand Authority, we should put their name as well. They can come anytime they want. Uh, but uh, the public, the expert, everyone, their names will be placed in that draw as well. We'll finish off uh, with a few Facebook comments and then we'll uh, say uh, peace out. Now, um, Galib Riza Sayyid, he says, Salaamu Alaikum. Fasting is, is the 1%. Uh, is not eating and drinking rest 99 is getting closer to Allah our chance to recover in this month of Ramadan um, from Alipur India now uh, Fatima Zahra Mohid from Bahrain she says fasting benefits our health and gets us more closer to Allah the holy month of Ramadan is all about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the rest, we will write your names down, whoever uh, commented during the live show. So during the live show, last message, during the live show, whoever comments, calls, sends a, a, a voice message, sends us a, a, a text message, a video, anything, their names will be placed in the draw to win a free trip to Karbala and other amazing giveaways and prizes. Don't forget to tune every night and share the promo on Facebook. Don't forget to do that and let everyone have the chance of coming to Karbala. Don't be selfish. Ramadan's all about giving, you know. It's not about taking in. I like to give. That's why I'm giving to you guys the opportunity to come to Karbala. Anyways, it's been an honor. First night of Ramadan. Amazing night. Thank you very much for all those who joined us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Has read right a huge announcement alert your favorite show is only getting better and better this Ramadan enjoy new trending topics of hashtag LNT daily of course with the one and only that means 30 nights of live shows at 2 a.m. Karbala time so do stay tuned for new segments of fun and excitement and we're not stopping there no 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 Would you like a free trip to Karbala in this area